What's up guys, Ninja the 20 here with a the first video in the series of Extinction Strategy Guides. We're gonna start out with just solo things and move on to the other stuff. So you're gonna want ammo, because that's how you're gonna win. You're not gonna go around knifing a rhino and beating the game. So you're gonna start out with ammo. Basic ammo. You're not really gonna want this although it does come with some special stuff I mean, right off the bat you refill bullet weapons with 70% at the first kill point which is helpful but it's not the special effect stuff the next one it fills it to the maximum which is 30 more bullets maybe a little more than that and okay and then the next one fills the current clip so that's like seven bullets more and then ammo regenerates for all players within a 20 foot radius of the box. Now that's a good one. That's very helpful for defending a drill. So ammo could be good in the long run. I don't know if you're going to want to use it right away. Stun ammo is pretty much the most basic thing. It stuns them. Very helpful on any gun pretty much. Especially when you're running. Very helpful like at the end of point of contact when you have to run. This could be helpful. Uh, incendiary ammo is good for sniping because once you hit it, it catches on fire and then it will later die off. Very helpful for snipers. Explosive ammo is good for shotgunners. It's good for those who run around. It's great for taking out seekers. And armor piercing is probably most used because it's the highest tire. So, tier. <laughs> Armor piercing ammo will be very good and effective on rhinos and scorpions. So it's mostly for you, more useful for automatic weapons than others, but it can be used for others and still be quite effective. Probably will do the most damage to everything. So I'm just gonna go around and show you what it's like for each ammo. Okay, so here's the ammo crate. This is just basic ammo. And shut up, Percy. We're all low, and how are you talking to? And so this is uh, tire one, and it pretty much filled up my entire thing of ammo, which is pretty awesome. Uh, tire two will fill it up all the way to the top, and then I'll fill the clip. I'll show you the fully tired ammo crate. Okay, so this is the maximum crate. First off, it will increase my ammo to the max, but as I'm nearing it, my ammo will con continuously supply itself. See, now I'm back up to 70. So, as long as you're near the ammo crate, you will get ammo. Just pretty dang on awesome for defending. I mean, maybe it won't have the awesome side effects you need, but that's pretty helpful. See, now we're back down to 65. As I near the crate, it... Okay, I'm down. Well, that doesn't matter, because I was exactly playing. I don't normally use a shotgun, but there is the basic ammo crate at max level. Okay, so, really? Who's oh, join in. Okay, whatever. So, stun ammo is looks the exact same except it stuns instead. Now, why did you join? Why? Well, the only difference is it will slow down an alien. We've got hostiles attacking the drill. Let's see if we can find an alien. Is there seriously no aliens out here? Score! Found a flare. Hooray. See, there's some aliens. There's damage. Catch dang it. Okay. Oh, let's find some aliens and shock them. So you can hear the electricity and it slows them down. There we go. It's probably a lot more effective than using... See, it knocked them back. That's what I was trying to get you to see. It stops them. And then prevents them from running towards you. Very helpful for running. And it's quite effective. We're in. Stay frosty. So I've recently collected some incendiary ammo. 
which will light the aliens on fire. Mostly used for sniping. Can't see the fire yet. But uh, let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey man. Okay, right on fire. Wait for it. He dies. Didn't even have to keep shooting him. Very helpful. Bye bye. Oh, he didn't die. Okay. It, uh, depending how many times you shoot him, it will murder him. So I mean, you run away, and he dies. So that's incendiary ammo. Very helpful. Probably could replace it out for stun ammo. And it could be your primary ammo. It's very powerful. Especially in big streams of them. But next off is explosive ammo. Stay frosty. This is the explosive ammo crate. They all look the same. You'll sure never know. Um, it explodes when it hits the ground, so you can tell it's explosive. Now, I will not be doing the uh, armor piercing ammo. I'll just do the fact it's very simple. It doesn't have any cool uh, effects. Whenever you see the little shield icon when shooting an alien, it pretty much just bypasses that, which is quite helpful. Doing more damage. I mean, whenever you shoot a rhino, you will get that every time. But knowing you bypass it will make it a lot easier to kill. As you can see, he explodes catastrophically. I mean, that was only two bursts, really. I'm pretty sure you can just like, shoot the ground and kill him. So it's got splash damage going for it. So if you miss, you can still kill him. I'm not shooting it, but I'm still hurting it. So, explosive ammo can be quite helpful. So, overall, ammo will be a good basic, probably a good team strategizer if you don't need the specialty stuff. So that will be quite helpful if you're just going to be the ammo person, because you can get full ammo very early in the game, and then there's that whole regen of ammo, which is amazing. Stun ammo is good for running, so if you're, well, you might want to use that in the end of point of contact, because everyone's going to want to stock up on that in the end of your team. Incendiary ammo is good for sniping and shotgunners, because it fights them on fire, but it's also good if you're going to use an assault rifle, but most likely you're going to kill them in that time. So it's kind of like the uh, one hit, let it burn technique is going to be good for that. Explosive ammo is good for splash damage, so if you're not that accurate, you will still get do damage to them, even if you miss. Very good for that. And uh, armor piercing ammo is good to take out rhinos. So if you're gonna just do strategy, then you're gonna want to pick through those standards. So thanks for watching this tutorial on the best ammo. I hope you enjoyed and hope this helps you beat Extinction. There will be plenty more to come. So, peace!